38, please. Number 38. Kind of 38. 38. Come on yes, up, sir. Because you got to be fast. <laughs> got to be fast. Welcome to Sybils. Thank you very much. So let me have a, a Guyanese chicken patty. That's that. Yeah. The chicken Woo! patty. Tell what you think. Mm. It's beautiful. This is mom's recipe, right? Yeah. Yeah. My name is Vibert Cookie Bernard. Here at Sybil's Bakery and Restaurant, which is like the beginning of the business district on Liberty Avenue. So my mom's name was Sybil Bernard. She started this business back in 1978. It was kind of drug-infested area and really run down. And now it's totally transformed into a beautiful community. And I feel proud that we were part of bringing it to where it is today. My mom is of Indian descent, but she grew up in a mixed race home. And she also has siblings that are of Chinese descent. So she's learned all these ethnic dishes, and that's what we bring here. When you were coming up, did your family used to come out to Sybil's? And, and, and this is one of the staple places, yeah. right? Yeah, well, you come out here to get bread, and yeah. on the weekends, always come out to Sybil's. So what do we got here? This is the dal puri. Ooh. It smells and, uh, so good. Like that? Stuffed with uh, yellow split peas. This comes from the Indian then, right? Yeah. Look at the curry goat. Oh, wow, it smells it's, it's, amazing. And when you cook for your own community, you got to be on point. Yeah, you got to be on point. Because yeah. people come in and they're like, oh, no, my goat curry is better than that. Yeah, you got to pull them away from, from that. The blood pudding comes from England or Scotland, yeah. I believe, right? Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Is it pig blood, right? Uh, no. Beef. We don't okay. use pork in our restaurants, yeah. period. We have a big Muslim community. Yeah. And we try to make everybody welcome. Feel comfortable and welcome, yeah. In Guyana, you know, everybody eat each other's foods, most, mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah. Uh, but growing up, we never say this is Puerto no. Rican or this is Irish. Right. Sure. <laughs> this is all Guyanese food. This what is, is that? The pepper pot. The pepper pot. Woo! That's a native uh, Amerindian mm -hmm. dish. We have the regular beef parts in there, the oxtails in there. And then we add other things, you know, the spices, and we add also hot peppers to it. The Amerindians use this extract of yucca. Mm. We call it casrip. And that's our main ingredient in here. Pepper pot. It's uh, predominantly a Christmas dish mostly, but we have it all the time here because... Um, people want it all the time. People want it all the time. Yeah. You have any um, bread? Uh, yes, we have the bread to go with it, yeah. sure. As you say in Guyana, this is the boy for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. Almost like a challah or like it's a... It's like a challah bread, yeah. yeah. It's like a challah bread. It's called a plastic bread. When I came here, we were eating uh, Wonder Bread. This bread is one we started out with originally in my mom's home, too. My mother migrated to, to come to make a better life for us in this country. She had no choice but to leave us. Nine children living in a little shack with no parental guidance. I was only 12. My dear uncle, Neville, came and rescued some of us, took us to his bakery, where we worked very hard. So eventually, my mom got all her children here. We all lived in the basement, nine of us. She said, you guys know how to make bread and stuff, so let's make some and sell to our neighbors. The recipes that we use now are the recipes that my uncle taught us 45 or 50 years ago. The next generation, how do you make them understand the hard work and the hustle? And do they get it? Or is it, what do you think? Uh, if you never lived in poverty, you don't even know what it is. So you, you know, if you have, <laughs> you don't want to go back. Oh. The children here, they've never really lived in poverty, some mm. of them. So they know what they know. It's not their fault. They, yeah. they, they're all right, they tried. But yeah. you know, they would not dig as deep as I would because I'm trying to dig from a way, yes. way down, right? That's a good way to put it. And now, by the way, you've been in business for 30 years. Wow. O over 30 years. Over 30 years. Yeah, for 40 years. <laughs> Order. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. And it's, the uh, food is good. This is my favorite so far. Pepper pot. Yeah, really? Especially yeah. dipping it with the bread. <laughs> and by the way, bless your mom, I'm glad we're not doing it with Wonder Bread. <laughs> I'm glad we're not doing it with Wonder Bread. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank oh. you very much.